following video is for the OPC Systems HTML wizard. If you have not already done so, please complete the steps in the help file for the HTML HMI quick start. We'll be picking up from that point. I've opened our source code in the text editor and we're going to add a label to the bottom of what we've already created. So right below this last div here, let's add a label control. And please note that uh, we've added an ID for this label control for the OPC systems wizard to work or for the connection to work to the OPC system service. We need an ID for each one of these components. Also notice the minimum code that's uh, above here for our HTML application. We've included the jQuery minimized library, the OPC systems minimized library, and the JSON2 JavaScript library and also our CSS for the OPC system style. The OPC system style CSS is for the confirmation on input for an OPC button or any object that we're going to set a value with. Below we have our connection string which is the token and also the URL for the OPC system service that we're going to connect. Ensure that you've already registered the OPC systems connection string on the OPC system service machine. Down below we have the body of what was developed in our demo application in the quick starts. And now we've added the sign value as a label in this uh, HTML. And you see we've got our ID. And now let's uh, get the code to display the sign value. We're going to open up the HTML wizard. And we're going to select the text property. And select the text OPC systems content tag. Hit our browse button. Select local. And let's grab the sign value. Select OK. And from here we can format that. Now the sign value happens to be a floating point, so we'll use this to format here. And let's give that uh, a suffix of RPM. We could also format for an integer or a string or a boolean using the same control. We'll create the HTML, and now we can copy that to the clipboard and come in and paste that into our HTML code. And we'll post that right after the ID. Hit enter, and now we can save our file. And then let's run it. Now hit refresh here and we can see our sign value coming in. So you can see how easy it is to get the data into any um, HTML element. Here we're using a label. Now let's go from here and add a few more properties to this particular label. We'll minimize here. And we'll come back to our HTML wizard and let's select background. And from here, let's grab a tag to define our background. We'll select local and grab our pump value. This is a Boolean point. Select OK. And then now when that's true, we'll have a lime green background. And when it's false, it'll be red and background quality will be yellow if it's bad quality. We can also add other tags. These uh, go in a hierarchical form. So number five would be the lowest, four would be the second, three, two, and then down to one here where we would have the highest priority. So we want to create the HTML. Click on create HTML and then we can copy that to the clipboard and then paste that in our HTML code and then save that. And now let's refresh our application here and now we see we've got a lime green background and let's open up OPC systems configuration tool and change that pump value to a zero and we should see that change to red and there we go we've got our red background let's go back to our HTML wizard and let's make our background flash so I'm going to select background flash and I'm going to select another tag here to make that flash and let's grab our drain valve this is another boolean point. I'll select that. Select OK. And we can set, uh, we can define what the background color is going to be. Since we already have a defined color of red, green, or yellow, let's uh, have that flash transparent. And we can set a number of times on transition that we're going to allow that to flash. Or we can set this to be on true 
or on false and it will continue to flash continuously. Um, so let's grab an on transition to true here and now we'll flash for a set number of times. I'll create the HTML, copy that to the clipboard, go back to our script and enter that and save the file. And now let's refresh our application here and set our drain valve to true. And there's our flashing for five times. Set it to false and then back to true. Okay, let's go back to the HTML wizard again, and then let's select our border here. And select a tag for the border, and let's use our mixer tag. I'll select that as OK. And let's select our dark green border, or let's uh, change that. Oh, let's go with an orange border. And it will be dark red if it's false. Let's make that a uh, different color. Let's make it white smoke if it's false, and then yellow if it's bad quality. And copy that to the clipboard and go back to our code. Currently we don't have a style for that border property for our label so let's create that. So here I've added our style for the border on the label and now let's copy our HTML code and paste that in here and save our application and come up and refresh and you can see we have a white border right now so let's change that and you can see we changed the border to red let's go back and change that to white again and you'll see that update actually let's change that to some different color so it's a little bit easier for you to see the change here um, so on false we have white let's change that to cyan create the html again then i'm just going to copy that and paste that over what we already created for our border paste that in there and and save again and update and there we see our cyan color there now let's go back and change that tag so you can see the change in that uh, so we'll change that mixer from false to true and there's our orange border and set it back to false and there's our cyan border let's go back to our wizard here and let's select the another property here let's change the border flash and here let's go with continuous flash so we'll leave this rate is on true and we'll select a tag and let's tie this back into that uh, pump failure I'll select that and we'll make it flash transparent and create the HTML copy it to the clipboard and then back to our code here and save and update we have our flashing in the background now let's make the border flash by changing our pump value pump is currently false we're going to change that to true and we changed our inside value and our flash value um, hard to see again with that inside being green and the outside being cyan so let's make a little change there on that inside color or the flash color let's change the flash color instead of going to transparent let's make that dark blue create the HTML copy it to the clipboard and replace our existing code and let's save and update again and now you can see that flashing blue color on our border go back here again content is something that you're probably not going to use very much it's not a visual it's a, it's sort of like a tag or a place to hold values in in your object um, very similar to our text property but uh, probably not going to be used a heck of a lot so let's go with our foreground property here and this is going to change the color of our text and again let's use that pump value select ok and currently our color is actually black by default so let's make that uh, now so we're already using lime green as a background color so let's make it bright red if that's true and then come back down here and change this to a blue if it's false then yellow if it's bad quality go through and copy again create the html copy and go back to our code and again let's paste that right in below the last one and save again come back and update our application and now we can see that that's bright red uh, the foreground color come back into opc systems and change that pump value again we could actually hit our toggle pump value here in our application and see it change pop that back see it change again so very easy to set things up here we also have foreground flash which is very similar to the background flash. We can change the height, the enable property, the opacity, the scale. All of these properties here are very easy to change and very detailed in how you can set them up. It's uh, pretty, pretty intuitive for each one of them. Text is one that you're going to use all the time for changing the value in a label or, or a button. One other important property to take a look at is the set value. 
This allows you to use any element in your HTML application to set a value in an OPC systems tag. Currently, you need to be monitoring that value for the set value to work. So what I've done here is I've created a label called value1, and we've given it an ID, and now we're going to monitor value one through that uh, particular tag. So I'll paste the code in here to monitor that OPC systems value one tag. And we'll go over here and we're going to select our set value property. Pick a tag and we'll pick the value one tag from OPC systems. This is a floating point value. I'll select that. Mm -hmm. um, we're not doing a Boolean point at this point, so we'll set that to value. We can have a confirmation. So we'll set that to true. And then the confirmation, let's say we'll have a question here is are you sure and we'll have a title message of my message we have different confirmations right now we can have okay or cancel yes no so we'll leave that at yes no and the data type for what we're going to be writing to will be a floating point number and here we can set a value in here let's set that to 75.23 and then down here would be our set value type also notice that we could set an integer value or a string value or a boolean value i'll set this to value here and that'll take the value that we just entered however we could select input and that would provide us with an input box to your user interface to allow an operator to enter a particular value create the html and we'll do the same thing we'll copy that and what we can do is apply that to any one of the existing elements that we have already um, so we can even apply that to our, our value our, our label that we're using here so let's do that I'm going to put that at the end of this label and paste that in here and now we have the label that's displaying the value when we click on it it's also going to change the value so let's save that from over here and refresh our HMI application and we can see that we've got our value one value it's 100.356 right now and I'm going to click on that we get our confirmation message our are you sure? I'll select yes. And we changed our value to 75.23. So very easy there also. Just remember to monitor the value that you want to, to change. Um, let's change that code a little bit. So let's go in here. Instead of having it be a value, let's change that to an input. Create the HTML, copy that, and we'll paste that right over our existing HTML. Our set tag element there. Paste that in. Save and refresh. And now when we click on that, not only do we get our message box, but we also get a location here that we can change the value. So I'm going to enter a value here of 45.92 and hit yes. And we can see that our value updated. That covers how to use the HTML wizard. For more information on OPC systems, products, and features, please visit our website at www.opcsystems.com. Thank you.